Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating a number of ways to fix the problem of 100% disk usage in Windows. This problem has recently become more common among Windows 10 users. Some typical signs of this problem include an obvious slowdown in the overall performance of your Windows. Activities like booting to desktop, mouse movements, opening of apps and Windows begin to lag significantly and sometimes they could become unresponsive entirely. Here as you can see from this laptop, after the normal boot process is taking much longer for the tray icons and other taskbar icons to show up. The second and even more obvious sign of this problem is that when you open your task manager, click on more details and under the process tab you should notice your disk utilization percentage nearing or consistently on 100% as you can see on this laptop. This is accompanied by the bar being in red. Now, even if yours is not stuck on 100% but shows anything above 95% consistently for 5 to 10 minutes after you boot up, then something is definitely not as it should be. And just in case you are wondering what the normal percentage should be, it depends on the processes running on your PC. With low disk demanding processes or nothing really running, it should be nearly 0 or less than 10%. It could be a bit more but not close to 100% as you can see in this case. The third and less common sign of this problem is an unusually loud noise from the cooling fan as if your processor or graphics card is under extreme use, as you can hear from this laptop. Again, this is not very common, but you can also experience that in addition to one or two of the other signs. There are several possible reasons why you may be having this problem, ranging from hardware to software issues, settings and processes. But in any case, the solutions in this video could help you resolve this problem. If one solution doesn't work for you, simply undo the processes and move on to the next. I will also be explaining briefly how each suggestion could help in resolving this issue. And now without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so the first thing to try is to disable your Windows search service. Now this might sound a bit weird at first, but here is why the Windows search could be the problem. The Windows search service is designed to offer a quick access to files, folders, applications, settings and just about everything on your Windows, which in turn are stored on your hard drive. Now to accomplish this, the search service is designed to constantly index all files on your disk so as to make them readily available when you search for them. From here you can already understand why this could be the problem. Simply put, the search indexing could overwhelm your disk read write capacity and keep it at such high usage state, hence slowing down your windows. Now by disabling the search service, you will still be able to search for your apps and other files on the disk. However, it will take a little more time to show your search results. So you can temporarily disable the search service and check the impact this has on your system and then decide whether or not you want to re-enable it again. To disable your windows search service, press the keyboard combination Control shift escape or simply search for task manager from your Windows search. Either ways, you should have your task manager pop up. Here, click on the services tab. And then at the bottom of the page here, click on open services. You should have the services window pop up. On this window, search for Windows search. Right click on it and select properties. On the properties dialog box where it says startup type, click on the drop down and select disabled. Then apply and hit OK. Now restart your computer and see if the problem has been resolved. If you are still seeing the high disk usage on the task manager, then the second thing to check is your disk defragmentation configuration. Now defragmentation as you may already know consolidates fragmented files on your hard drive and enables efficient and quicker access to storage locations on the drive. However, sometimes this process could get corrupted by some malware or applications, hence creating an undo process in the disk and causing such problem as 100% disk usage. To rectify this, you will need to stop and disable scheduled defragmentation from your task scheduler. To do that, go to your Windows search and type task scheduler as shown on the screen. Click on task scheduler from the search results. A window like this should pop up. Here, click on the arrow next to task scheduler library to expand the folder. Then click to further expand the Microsoft folder, then the Windows folder. Under the Windows folder, locate the folder named Defrag and click on it. Now you will see an item in this window named Scheduled Defrag. 
if yours is not showing fully you can double click on this boundary to fully display it now once you click on this item you should have a list of the actions you can perform on it to the right here look for where it says end and click on it then asks if you want to end all instances of this task here hit yes now come back to this action pane and click on disable to stop the process from resuming again when you restart your computer now immediately you do that your status here should say disabled then restart your computer and see if this has fixed the problem If not, then undo the process by simply going back and changing the settings to what they used to be and then proceed with the next suggestion. Here we'll be updating our device drivers. Now this is more likely to solve the problem if you notice this issue just after installing a fresh copy of Windows. In that case, chances are that after installing your drivers, Windows would be able to resolve this problem automatically. One way to do this will be to run a regular Windows update. To do that, go to your Windows Start and click on the gear icon to open your settings. On the settings page, click on update and security. Then on the window that follows, click on check for updates and wait for the updates to download and install. If this is your first time running an update, then it might prompt you to accept the installation of the updates after downloading. If you see that, just select accept and install. It might also prompt you to restart your PC to complete the process. Now after running the regular updates, check your device manager to see if all important drivers are installed. If not, then you can try to right click on each one of the drivers and select update driver from the options. Then on this window, select search automatically for updated driver software. Of course, you will need an internet connection to complete this process. Now, if that fails, then you might need to search online for the corresponding drivers, download and install accordingly. After installing the required drivers, restart your computer and see if the problem has been resolved. If that still doesn't fix the problem, the next thing to try would be to disable Superfetch service. Superfetch is a background Windows feature that constantly monitors memory usage patterns and observes what apps you run most often. It then marks such apps as frequently used and then preloads them into the memory ahead of time. Now just like Windows Search Service, Superfetch could silently be taking up a substantial amount of the read-write capacity of your disk, especially if you run several different applications frequently on your Windows. Hence, over time this could be contributing to the problem of this 100% disk usage and slowing down your Windows. As you can also see from the task manager here, Superfetch is one of the services that keeps coming up as this laptop suffers from this high disk usage problem. This might not necessarily be the issue in your case, but it's worth checking to see if disabling it would resolve the problem. Now, just like the search service, by disabling Superfetch, you will still be able to launch your apps as usual. However, they may take a little more time to open up. To disable Superfetch, go to your Windows search and type CMD. Right click on Command Prompt app from the search result and select Run as Administrator. Click yes on the user account control. On the command prompt terminal, type in the command net.exe space stop space superfetch as shown on the screen and hit enter. Now you should say superfetch service is stopping and then superfetch service was stopped successfully. Now wait for a few minutes and check if this resolved the high disk usage issue. If it helps, then you can permanently disable Superfetch until you choose to turn it back on. To do that, go to your task manager using Control shift escape Then on the task manager, click on the Services tab, and then click on Open Services at the bottom of the window. Now on the Services page, search for Superfetch. Right-click on it and select Properties. On the Properties dialog box where it says Startup Type, click on the drop-down and select Disabled. Then apply and hit OK to complete the process. Now restart your PC and check and see if this problem has been resolved.
If that still doesn't fix the issue, then the next thing would be to try resetting your virtual memory. Virtual memory is basically some kind of memory management technique that extends your RAM virtually into your hard disk with the goal of improving performance. However, sometimes this technique could be generating a substantial amount of read-write requests on the hard disk, hence it could lead to high disk usage. To reset your virtual memory, go to your Windows search and type Control Panel. Click on Control Panel from the search results. On the Control Panel window where it says View By, Click on the drop down and select large icons. Then locate the system icon and click on it. Here click on advanced system settings. The systems properties dialog box should pop up. On the advanced tab, click on settings under performance. The performance options dialog box should pop up. Here click on the advanced tab once again. And then under the virtual memory, click on change. Then below the virtual memory window, you will see your minimum allowed, recommended, and currently allocated virtual memory sizes. Here, as you can see, my currently allocated memory is much larger than the recommended size, which should not necessarily be a problem. But in the case of high disk usage, then you might want to set this back to the recommended size. To do that, first uncheck this automatically managed paging file size for all drivers. Then select custom size. On the initial size field, put in the recommended size. Then on the maximum size field, put in 1.5 times the size of your physical RAM in MB. Here mine is 8GB. So for a 4GB RAM, it will be 4 times 1024. 1024 is the number of MB in 1GB. Then times 1.5, which will give you 6144 MB. For 8GB RAM, in the same vein, it will be 12288 MB. So here I will type in 12288. Now you need to type in what corresponds to your RAM size. Then click on the set button to the right and hit OK. It then informs me that I have to restart before this change will take effect. Here hit OK. Then apply. OK. And OK again. Now ensure you've saved your work and then hit restart now to complete the process. Now if the problem persists after restarting, the next suggestion would be to check the configuration of your AHCI PCIe, especially if you are using an SSD. The AHCI is short for Advanced Host Controller Interface. It's a technical standard that defines the operation of your SATA host controller. This host controller is what connects your computer to the hard disk. Now without getting too deep into the technicalities of the processes involved, there are times when your disk would not respond properly to the input-output request when the so-called message signaled interrupt, that's MSI mode, is in hence leading to such high disk usage problem. This could be due to firmware bugs or some issues with the inbox AHCI driver called storeahci.sys as the system driver. To resolve this issue, you first need to check to see if you are running the inbox AHCI driver. To do that, go to your Windows search and type device manager. Click on device manager from the search results. On the device manager, search for the IDE ATA slash ATA PI controllers. Click on the arrow next to it to expand the options. Here you should have the standard SATA AHCI controller. Right click on it and select properties. Then click on the driver tab and here click on driver details. Here if you have the store AHCI.sys driver in the list, then you are running the inbox driver. Now close this and go back to the controller properties window. Here click on details. Then under properties, use the drop down to select device instance path. Then you should have a value like this. Here you should take note of this value. You can copy it out or take a screenshot. I'll just use my snipping tool to make a quick screenshot. Then the next step would be to disable MSI mode for the controller in the registry. To do that, go to your search and type registry. Click on registry editor from the search results. On the registry editor, carefully navigate to the following folder, beginning with the HK local machines, then system, then current control set, enum, PCI, and then locate your AHC controller. That's the value you copied out. In my case, I have the screenshot here. Then device parameters, 
interrupt management, message signaled interrupt properties. Then double click on the MSI support key and change the value data from one to zero. Hit OK and close the registry. Now restart your computer and see if the problem has been resolved. If not, then the next suggestion would be to disable automatic Windows update. Again, this should not normally cause this problem, but sometimes due to malware or some other sort of malfunctioning, your Windows update service could run into a loop that could be taking up a huge portion of the read-write capacity of your disk, hence leading to such problem as 100% disk usage. In that case, you can try to disable automatic Windows update service to see if this fixes the problem. I have demonstrated how to do this in this recent video. I will leave the link down in the video description section. Now, if none of these suggestions has worked for you, then you might consider backing up your files and reinstalling Windows. If you set to do that, then you can check the procedures I showed in this video on how to back up your files before installing a fresh copy of Windows. Hope one of these was able to help you out. If so, drop us a feedback in the comments section which of the suggestions worked for you. And if you come across some other working solutions out there that hasn't been covered in this video, please post in the comments so that others can try. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.